in this problem, we're being asked to create a table for a linear function. And a linear function just means it's a function that, um, you know, if you graph it, it's a line. It's a straight line. So uh, this function on the left here, you've got this thing g of x. And that's function notation. So you'll see f of x or g of x or h of x. And then you've got the other side here. You know, you can think of this as um, where the y would go in a linear equation. So if you were to write this out as a uh, the equation for a line, you'd just say y equals 5x plus 3. But instead of a y, we're using this name g of x to describe this function. The reason they have the of x is because x is the variable in, on the right-hand side of the function. So this is a function named g, and it's a function of the variable x. To complete a function table here, and this is something you might do if you were getting ready to graph it, so you had some points, uh, x, and you can think of this as like the y. Um, to compl complete this table, all you have to do is take the x value and plug it in for x here on the right-hand side of the equation. So uh, take a negative 3, multiply it by 5, that'd be negative 15, and then add 3 to it, you'd get negative 12. So that's our first value for g of x. Negative 1 times 5 would be negative 5 plus 3 would be negative 2. 0, that's an easy one. This part just disappears, and you just get a positive 3. And next one is 2. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 3 would be 13. And 3 times 5 is 15 plus 3, that'd be 18. So there we have uh, a completed table for a function.